Yes then guys, how are we all doing? My name's Morsi and welcome back to my channel. We are so close to getting our hands on FIFA 22. Every single day that goes by, we are getting a step closer to the web app, to early access, to early release, all that FIFA 22 goodness. So in this video, I'm gonna be adding to that hype. I'm gonna be talking you through my dream FIFA 22 starter team, so let's do it. So guys, as a disclaimer before we dive into this, these are not actual card ratings. We're still waiting for the ratings and the database to be released for FIFA 22. These are predictions. I'm taking majority of the ratings from SoFIFA, a fantastic website. It essentially updates player ratings throughout the year. If you've not heard of it, definitely go check it out. That is SoFIFA.com. It's a website I use to scout a lot of cards and find hidden gems on Ultimate Team and Career Mode. But in regards to my starter team, I've gone for a bit of a unique hybrid. I have gone for players that I really want to use on the new game. But enough waffling, let's get straight into this one, guys. In goal, we have got a man who goes by the name of Hurodeki. You probably packed this guy about 17 billion times throughout FIFA 21. And he had that 83 overall card on the game. A fair few, I believe that was one headliner card was it and he got that one plus to an 86 overall so not too many special cards what i'm going to do as we go through these players is overlay my predicted uh, version of the card of fever 22 on top of this concept screen so i've gone for an 82 overall for the man that one downgrade last season he wasn't that bad for leverkusen all right i may be a bit harsh here but i reckon an 83 or an 82 is where this man is going to be sat at for the fever 22 game mode heading over to the first center back in my team an absolute legend all right, at the start of FIFA 21, this man was my favorite card in the defense. It is a Kanji, an absolute beast. He had himself a 78 overall card on FIFA 21, and he was quick, he was tall, he had a bit of power behind him, and he was just damn solid. He wasn't too expensive as well, surprisingly. I feel like as long as you're staying away from the Premier League, you're probably going to find cheaper beasts uh, compared to Premier League prices because you have that premium. Bundesliga is definitely a good league to go to and the Kanji is definitely going to be in my start team. And his centre-back partner is another absolute unit. Once again, one of my favourite cards on FIFA 21. He had that team of the season. It is Edmund Tapsoba. The Burkino Faso Giant is a 78 overall on FIFA 21 and I reckon he's going to get an upgrade. He has to. He had such a good season last year and he is so highly rated in the world. I reckon an 81 is pretty much where he's going to be sat at. It could be an 80. It could be higher than 81. It is hard to kind of judge it. But this 81 card is going to be expensive. Probably the most expensive out of these three so far. So that is where a lot of my money, my starter money is going to be invested. But the stats have so much potential. As I said, he's six for four. He's got the pace. He's got the bending. He's an absolute unit. Uh, the physical stats are definitely going to be there. And he is a ball playing centre back. So these two right here are my starter centre backs. We're heading over to the right back. And you're looking at a kanji. You're thinking, how am I going to link it in? Let's be real. This one was obvious, guys. The Swiss link. We're getting in Mbappé. Mr. Overpowered himself had a 79 overall card on FIFA 21, and I reckon he's going to stay at that rating. A solid 79 would be fantastic. He did blag himself a couple of special cards throughout the year, the what if and that flashback to a previous team of the season. But I reckon a 79 is a solid shout. If anything, a potential 80. But either way, this man will be a little bit expensive. But nothing crazy. Last season, you're paying about 10 to 15k for this right back which is so damn cheap for early starting. Considering it's going to be a little bit more difficult to farm coins early game on FIFA 22, we won't be getting our hands on placement rewards or anything like that, so these cards will be used for a lot longer. A lot of people won't be skipping the kind of low-rated starter team to go into that mid-tier team straight away. A lot of people are going to be rocking these kind of cards, so I reckon Mbappé has longevity in his price, and he gets a strong link into a Kanji. We're going to hold fire on going to our left-back, and we're going to check out our centre midfielder. And this man had a silver card last year, but there's no doubt in my mind that we're getting a goal. It is, of course, a strong link to a Kanji. We have got Jude Bellingham, 69 overall silver in FIFA 21, but I reckon we're getting that at least 76, 77 gold rare in FIFA 22. Absolute baller, by the way. This man, the youngster, is taking over world football, and he's one of the highest potential youngsters in the world right now. He's going to have the pace, he's going to have the dribbling, he's going to be such a well-rounded starter midfielder, pretty much solid in every single aspect of the game. And another thing to say, guys, this is not where I'm starting all these players. I will look to do a different formation in-game, but just to get full chemistry, we are rocking the 4-5-1. But Jude Bellingham is my son of mid. So heading over to our first and attacking midfielder is a man, once again, I'm insanely excited to use. The Arsenal bias is there, guys. This is my dream starter team, okay? 
my dream starter team. So I'm going to use the players that I want to use. Same as Jude, he had a 69 overall silver, but he had a breakout season last year round. I reckon we're going to be looking at that 77. Probably very similar to Bellingham in all fairness. A 76 to 78 low gold rare card in FIFA 22. He's not the quickest of players, but his dribbling is fantastic. His ball control is fantastic. To have about 80 pace and 80 dribbling is going to be great early game. End product is a little bit lackluster, but I'm confident in Emil, and I reckon he can find the back of the net when need be. If not, a few of these boys up here will definitely have help with that. So we're going to head over to the left mid position and take a guess right now. A mental note, try and predict who this is going to be. Think about it. An Arsenal fan needs a strong link to an Arsenal player. Yeah, we're not messing about. We're getting Bakayo Saka. Oh yes, this man, by the way, is an absolute baller in the real world. I absolutely adore him. Killing it for England, getting goals and assists as well. So a massive increase across the whole card. Every single attribute and stat gets that little boost. So a consistent increase is fantastic to see. The pace, the dribbling, the shooting, the passing, all of that has got better. He also is solid defensively and he has got a little bit of physicality brought to his game. And of course, the four-star, four-star, I hope. And to finish off our defence in the left-back position is a player I've already predicted on my channel. I did end up giving him a silver card. However, thinking more about it, I reckon we're going to be looking at a 75 overall gold. It is Nuno Tavares. Transferred to Arsenal for about 8 million euros, I believe it was. So pretty cheap. Young man, a lot of potential. And most importantly, he gets a strong Saka to make sure he is on full chemistry. Probably one of the cheaper options in this team, but he has a lot of pace to help with this defence. And this back line is just so damn solid for the start of the game. You cannot go wrong. Two quick fullbacks, two quick, tall, physical centre-backs and a solid goalkeeper. So our second centre attack midfielder is going to be none other than Calvin Phillips. England's player of the year, absolute baller, had such a solid season last year. I absolutely adore this man. I love his physicality, I love his like style of play. He is that Yorkshire Perlo. So a 76 overall CDM in FIFA 21. I reckon he's going to be more of a centre midfielder and a 78 overall is what I've given him this time round. He's going to be my midfield pit bull. Up and down the pitch, bringing that physicality, the strength, the stamina to not stop running. And most importantly, you can ping a pass, which is going to be vital this year round. As I'm pretty certain, we've not seen too much about the gameplay in regards to FIFA 22. But from what I've heard, physicality is going to be big in this game. We're going to need a bit of strength. It's not all about nimble, agile players anymore, guys. We need a nice, versatile, full roster. And I reckon this man with the physicality that he's going to bring to that midfield is going to be vital in the early game. So the right mid position, we need a strong link to Calvin Phillips. And we're going to get in the newly transferred man. The ex-Manchester United speed demon. It is Dan James. The man moved the leads for a decent sum of money, actually. He wasn't the cheapest player. I reckon we're going to pretty much have a carbon copy this year around. I can't see a downgrade or an upgrade. He did start for Oli and he got that big money transfer. But I reckon the pace alone makes this card so desirable early game. There's so many sick right mid, right wing options in FIFA 22. Adama Traore, for example, is rapid and Buermo will be a decent shout. But Dan James with the pace... I reckon he's going to be solid. I essentially want as much pace as possible early game, guys. Considering we lack a little bit in the centre of the park, I need my wingers to be quick and agile to get in behind. But this is the first team so far, and we need that creme de la creme on top, the icing on top of the cake. And it's basically any Premier League striker can go here. And we have got many options this year around. There's some super solid players. But as I said a little bit earlier, we I want someone a bit more physical. I want a baller who can find the back of the net. He's not too slow, has a bit of pace about him. Potential four-star, four-star. It's another newly transferred player. If you guess it, fair play to you. But we are getting an Edouard. 75 overall Celtic card last year round. Got a team of the season. Got a few informs throughout the year as well. Recently transferred to Patty Vieira's Crystal Palace. And I'm giving him that 77 overall. Hopefully he'll keep the four-star, four-star skill moves on weak foot. He's got a bit of pace. He's got decent dribbling, decent finishing. And he is six foot two and built like a bit of a brick wall. So hopefully the hold of play is going to be fantastic. So this is my dream FIFA 22 starter team. Roughly the price could vary, guys. It could be anywhere from 100k to 200k to maybe even 250k. You never know at the start of the game. Some prices are crazy. If Saka gets himself that 79, 80 overall card, he could be like 50k. It's ridiculous. It's hard to predict, guys. But this is the team I'm going to be trying to build myself over the first few weeks of FIFA 22. Hopefully I get lucky in some packs. Hopefully my trading goes well. But get down in the comment section, guys, and let me know what team you are going to look to build early game. If you rate my team, if you think I should change any player, if you love that defence, I mean, how can you not? This defence looks so damn solid. But anyway, I've been Morsi, guys. If you did enjoy, please do consider dropping me a like on the video. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of my team. And I'll catch you soon for another video. Take it easy.